Hello and welcome to my user impressions of the ASUS PB278QR. That's right, this is a newer one. This replaces the, uh, the 278Q. So I want to make, um, just be real upfront about this. This isn't a technical review. I'll, um, I'll put a link in the description below and you can go read about um, all that techy kind of stuff. I'm an average consumer. So some, some quick specs on it. It is a, um, an IPS screen. Although the, the screen the, the, the screen has changed. That's a, that's a change. It's supposed to be better now. Uh, flicker free than the, uh, than the previous iteration of the, um, the PB278Q. It is a 1440p monitor. It's got 100% support for sRGB. So uh, that color spectrum, so that is very good. It's got a lot of the features, um, indeed I think all the features, of the previous iteration. There are, however, some some things that I that I don't like about it. Some things that they Azus didn't listen, and that annoys me. So one of the things they didn't listen about was the um, base. So they ignored the number one complaint. The number one complaint about the predecessor of this was the base, primarily its swivel mechanism. The whole base moves, and that really annoys me that Azus didn't listen to that because it was fairly obvious in the reviews. Every review I read of the predecessor talked about monitor is amazing, it's great. The base, it doesn't make any sense. That annoys me. Now there's another, another aspect that annoys me. So it advertises picture in picture and picture by picture, which is great. How good is that? Except let's have a look and see what that actually means. There we go. Let's access that menu. Here we go. Let's turn that on. So let's turn picture and picture on. So you'll be seeing there there's now a little square there, which is fine, right? However, that's the source. VGA. That's the only source you can select. I don't have anything that runs VGA. It's just a really, really poor implementation of a picture-in-picture -picture or picture-by-picture -picture, um, feature. It's just... I would have preferred Azus simply leave it out. It's just awful. Who uses that? The, um, the other stuff about the monitor is, um, is fine. It's, uh, it's, it looks really good. And I, uh, I bought this actually to complement another monitor. So I actually have the ProArt 278. 
and compared to that one the screen on this one looks very nice um, I was disappointed about the base and I was disappointed about the picture-in-picture -picture and picture-by-picture -picture support so those are the the two kind of gripes I have um, now I have read some questions on uh, that other people have had just about how uh, how tall this is and it's full mode so let's just have a, have a quick measure here so that is let's call that 56 centimeters or 22 inches um, it does does have the pivot function I use the pivot function a little bit when I do um, uh, some photo editing um, I actually find the screen too big to use in, in pivot function at, uh, at work where it's more um, spreadsheet and document based kind of work that I do um, I, I have a 22 inch monitor I have a, a dual, dual monitors at work um, and I use one of those in pivot mode while the other is in landscape um, and I find the 22 inch far easier to use than this one in the, in the pivot mode obviously in landscape this one is fantastic now for those of you who are interested and it is a little bit deceiving because there's, there's a depth issue um, in front I've just put a, um, a ViewSonic 22 inch monitor that I had lying around just to give some some kind of comparison and there are the two simply uh, side by side so here we have the, um, my, uh, my ProArt on the left sorry about the messy desktop with the, um, the PB on the right and you can see the, uh, the different stand that they use so the whole base doesn't move which is really nice much more sensible implementation and I, I don't I just don't understand Azus why you wouldn't use the same base for both what well, you know why why design multiple bases why manufacture why have two lines of manufacturing anyway so um as I mentioned I'll put a link to a more uh, technical kind of review they were just my impressions and some of the things that I hadn't heard before and some of the other reviews I certainly heard about the base before but disappointed to see that, that hadn't changed and somewhat annoyed about the picture-in-picture -picture, uh, implementation because it's it's just rubbish aside from that if you're not interested in picture by picture um, but if you don't move your monitor around much maybe the base thing won't annoy you it annoys me okay and um, that's it thanks guys